Day 218. So today was biking and kayaking. Um, started off the morning on a fairly flat surface, uh, doing mostly um, just kind of pedaling along. I uh, did that for um, eight or 10 kilometers. Um, did a lot of just kind of keeping with the rhythm. Um, it was actually kind of fairly slow in the beginning. Um, and then we did kind of the same thing going back. We, we were in the valley. Um, it was a glacier cut valley. And so we went up one side, so a slight incline, and then we came back the other side. The other side did have gravel, um, but it still really wasn't that hard of a climb or bike ride. I think we did, uh, 26 kilometers on that run. Um, and it had maybe... 500 feet of elevation gain. Really not that bad. Um, and then we, uh, well, my mom did some paddle boarding. Not really up to that. We had lunch. Um, and then you had two options. You could take the ferry or you could bike. And based on the ride that we'd already done, it was like, well, we might as well go ahead and bike. <laughs> um, so it was a long option. Well, kind of long option. There was a longer option that took you on what they call the lollipop lollipop where you go up circle and run come back but that also added like 200 kilometers or 200 meters of elevation gain and like six kilometers and i just wasn't having that um so i i did the the second longest option which was to ride after lunch um we did technically get there quicker than the ferry did um but it started raining it was a little cold um we powered through it though None of us put our bikes up and said, you know, just get us to, to where we need to be. Um, and there were some long uphill climbs on that one. The, the type where it's like, you know, four to six percent incline. And so for the majority of it, you have enough power to keep moving, but you just have to keep that constant pace up for, you know, kilometers, several kilometers. So that, that was kind of difficult. And then we just, uh, we had some fun there. Um, there's only a few of us who actually want to do the kayaking. Um, they gave us wetsuits. And so we got in our kayaks and uh, did not as much exercise per se. Um, we did, we probably did do about a mile of actual kayaking. Um, but we ended up stopping and playing a game <laughs> where you... Um, it's kind of, I guess the best way to describe it would be like soccer, except every member of your team has to, to touch the rubber ducky and then the rubber ducky has to touch a buoy. Um, and so it, that was definitely interesting in kayaks, especially since, um, we had one of our members was kind of enthusiastic, one of my team members, and he fell in not once, not twice, but three times, um, no one else, by the way, rolled and fell in the water. Uh, it was just him. And then uh, to top it all off, um, to be active, went ahead and um, they had one of those, you know, thing you do in the summertime where you climb out to the middle of the um, a lake or whatever. You climb on top of a trampoline. Um, and in this case, there was the... Um, the obstacle where you go from one trampoline to another and in the middle is this kind of rolly log of a, a tube an air tube you had to get from one side to the other <laughs> neither of us got very far it was also freezing so we um he hugged it and didn't get very far i did the classic run as quickly as you can and of course you know you're not going to make it because it's your first time um and hilariously uh go head first into the water um, so yeah, it, that's just, you know, kind of, kind of how it is. So, I, you know, um, but yeah, the, there really wasn't, um, it was an active day. Um, we did have, you know, a decent amount of food, but it's snack roads and yeah. And, you know, got upper body and lower body done. Um, so we'll see what tomorrow, tomorrow brings.